All right, YouTube, your boy Slim is back, and I got another cigar review for you, so you already know what time it is. Let's go ahead and get into it. Today, we are going to be smoking on the Juarez, well, no, Crown Heads, Juarez Jack Brown. 5x56 Robusto. So, I picked this up from my local b &M. Shout out to my man Sal. He is a Marine vet. You know, he's disabled, so I can always go to a couple other places, but I usually always go there and get in my business because, you know, we just share that experience. All right, so let me give you the rundown on it. All right, so it's the Crown Heads Juarez Robusto. 5 by 56 the origins Nicaraguan the wrapper colors Maduro uh, cigar wrapper is Mexican San Andreas Maduro the binder is Ecuadorian the filler is Dominican Republic Nicaraguan all right so a little history on it the crown heads wars is a medium strength robusto that offers a more than satisfying smoke while being easy on the wallet yeah a dark, spicy Mexican San Andreas wrapper surrounds the Ecuadorian binder and premium fillers of Nicaraguan and Dominican Republic. A smoke you will come to love. Flavor profile you can enjoy every day. Right? I guess I'll be the judge of that. Actually, I didn't even give you the price. Now well, the price, this is gonna run you about six to seven dollars, depending on your b and I paid six. My man Sal gives me a military discount. Nice cap on there. Pretty packed. Little soft spots. Little, I don't know what that is right there. Looks like a gap. But, um,. Hmm. I guess it smells like fermented tobacco. <coughs> Excuse me. But, yeah, definitely getting that hint on there. But as I always say, it's my favorite part of the day, so let's get some cut up. Really good draw. Actually, probably really, really loose. Hmm. All right. Well, let me go ahead and get this toasted up. And as you can see, I'm wearing my Braves hat because after so many years of flaking in the playoffs, I finally got a W. Yeah. It's hard being a Atlanta fan, man. It is hard. But hey, you know what? That's my team and I ride with them. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody can be the damn Patriots or somebody like that. Really good. Alright. I'm gonna let this warm up some, kick back for a minute, find out what channel the game is on, and I'll uh, get back to you with my thoughts on it. Alright. Alright, I am back and my first impressions are it is definitely a lot of leather and woody notes. Uh, slight mixed fruit and uh, coffee. But uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that thing is smoking. I mean, it's just pouring off of there. But um, it has a really good draw. You know, it's just getting into it. So I'll let you know if those flavor notes, you know, stick around throughout the first third. And, you know, if not, you know how they change. But um, other than that, it's been a pretty good day, you know. 
figured I might as well enjoy a good cigar, well, right now, and uh, watch some football. Usually I'm always watching some type of sports after I finish doing stuff with my kids. So, hey, as you can see, I'm a Falcons fan. Hit me in the comments. Let me know who your team is. I'm saying football season is about to start up. So, might as well get back at it. All right, I'll get back with you. All right, I am back. And right now the ash is holding really good. Burn line is a... Uh, not razor sharp but it's looking good and pretty much those uh, flavor notes I got you know after it had warmed up that uh, woody woody leatherness you know uh, slight mixed fruit uh, it started to get a little bit creamy but um, that finish is, is really long I mean like I had to go get like some type of uh, like drink some water, but I went and got my Snapple. But I mean, that that finish is a uh, is really long. But I mean, other than that, you know, no complaints. I mean, I am about 35 minutes in, so it's burning pretty slow for me. But um, I'll keep in, keep on smoking it down, and once I get into uh, that second third close to the bin, I'll check back in with you and give you uh, my flavor notes on it. But right now it's a, a good cigar. So, all right, I'll get back with you. All right, I am back because it's getting close to the band and uh, pretty much the flavor transitions I'm getting right now. Woody, leathery, uh, cream is kind of picked up slightly. That makes fruit note in there. Not too much pepper, but uh, some coffee note in there. But uh, I have to say that that finish is, uh, it is still, still long. I'm hoping that it, you know, it kind of slows down or mellows out, you know, to, uh, to make it more enjoyable because I think it's now getting to the point where it is so long and uh, leathery, it just has my mouth feeling like chalky. But, um, other than that, I, you know, I can't complain, you know, the, the ash is falling off in clumps, you know, or as they say, dimes. So I'm gonna, I'll keep on smoking it down. I'll get into that last third and then I'll get back with you and let you know my thoughts on it. All right, I am back getting into that last third, kind of getting uh, kind of mushy. So I'm gonna give you my uh, flavor, flavor notes on that last part. Um, Still woody, leathery, uh, cream has died down some, slight, I don't even know if that mixed fruit is still there, but um, honestly, I'm not picking up any like black pepper. I mean, if so, it's really, really faint. But um, other than that, I mean, the finish has died down. You know, it's not that long anymore. It's poor, more like a medium finish right now. Um, but other than that, I'm going to uh, go ahead and get my uh, notes together and I'll be back with my final thoughts on it. All right. All right, I am back to give you my uh, final thoughts on the Crown Heads War is Jack Brown. Uh, 5x56 Robusto. All right, as far as strength, I would say it's like a medium. Uh, really didn't pick up from the first third to the second to the last. It really didn't pick up at all. It just, the way it started is the way it ended. You know, not too much on that. Uh, as far as the flavor transitions, it started out woody, leathery, slight mixed fruit, some coffee notes in there with a bit of cream. And honestly, from the second third to the last, those were pretty much the same uh, flavor transitions throughout. So I didn't feel there was much complexity, you know, to the cigar. It just, uh, you know, it just stayed pretty much one way. Now, as far as the construction on it, like the burn, you know, and the touch-ups, I didn't have to touch it up any. I mean, it was burning really good. You know, the only uh, problem I would probably have is that, you know, the draw was really loose. I prefer it to be a little bit tighter and that might have played a part in in it being uh, 
having such a long finish, you know, because I really didn't enjoy that at all. Now, as far as the price point and the time, it took me about like an hour, you know, but uh, it was uh, with that, you know, that loose draw, it just started burning up. But um, so I just set it down, let it smoke a little bit, and then came back at it. But other than that, I mean, it's six dollars, so. I could say I can see why they call it uh, an everyday cigar, but um, I wouldn't buy a five pack, and I I don't really see myself smoking it every day. Probably every now and then, you know, if I'm at the B and M, I'll probably pick up one. But you know, it's definitely not a cigar that I can smoke every day. Other than that, that's all the smoke on the Crown Head Juarez Jack Brown.